all right guys so let's continue with the excel so you just have to click i hope you all remember that population shape file that you saved yeah i remember i remember so you now come to click on file file like this and open anyway this will seem a little bit confusing to those of you using the microsoft word and then microsoft office 2013 and then 2016 but this is microsoft office 2010 so those of you using 13 maybe you know where open is so you just click on open all right so now i want to go and find the the folder that the situation is district folder that i created mm. all right so as you can see i have it here the the folder that you, you created all right so as you can see i have population here but you cannot select this i hope you can see this all excel files click on it and then click all files when you click on all files you now come to population as you can see i have a file here named dbf file that's what we need so click on dbf file and then click open all right so as you can see on my attribute table i'm now back to gis ArcGIS, or arcmap on my attribute table if you open it this way you can see town and then population and i have the same here on excel so i want to know the total number of people who are affected by who are likely to be affected by flood in the central east district so after putting my cursor on here and then dragging it down here i'll just click auto sum so i found out that the total population is 351,841 people are likely to be affected by flood in the Central East District. And these are the towns of Finso, I think which has the, uh, no, I think Bangalore has the largest, yeah, according to my COVID data. Alright, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to maybe represent it in the form of pie chart or maybe line so i'll just put my cursor on the first town you should eliminate the town name on the first town like this drag it i hope you can see i hope you know dragon you drag it to this you shouldn't add the total population to it you just go to insect mm, pie chart okay i love using all right so as you can see we have it here but i usually love it this way or maybe that way yeah this way so i'm now representing it in the form of python if you like you can choose to come to change chart type and then maybe represent it in the form of line line graph as you can see but uh, I don't I hate this chart type. Right, let me go in for bar. Right. Alright. So you can choose to change the color. Or you can choose to scroll down here. For better colors like this. And then you can also choose to change the type, the layout style. Layout style. Okay, maybe I want it this way. Anyway, there are so many styles you can choose to select and then maybe use them. Or you want to use it in the form of columns.
all right so you let me just go in for one you can choose to change any color you want maybe red color all right so the next thing you do is have you seen chat title click inside it delete it and then type population likely to be affected all right so i have my table here like this, my chart here like this i'll have to now right click on it and you can copy right click copy all right so now uh, i hope you all remember the instructor was he instructed us that we should now save everything into into microsoft word and then i want to now open microsoft Word. so windows button plus r will give me the run dialog box i input win word and then microsoft word is open all right so i have my microsoft word here and he said you write a little something like introduction that's maybe something very little about the district and then the next thing was I think methodology yeah. methodology which maybe you might you might want to discuss the methods you use sorry if maybe i type in this you but then you know i'm in a hurry you want to discuss the method you use in creating your map And then the next thing was I think resource right yeah resource so on the resource you will now be showing your map that you have created so you now come to insect and then picture so I'm now going to look for a East map that I created a while ago which is in this data and then I have my satellite map here oh, to come all right so as you can see this is the resource I have here the trace map and then I have to continue with discussion under discussion you are going to maybe that's where you want to you want to talk about or that's where you want to analyze analyze the map yeah so maybe after after a little bit a, a little discussion maybe you can choose to now insect or maybe paste your yeah paste my uh, my my bar graph that I designed from Microsoft Excel. Yeah. So, and you should write something very little about the district. That doesn't mean you should be writing this, please. You know yourself. And the methodology, the processes that you pass through, the results to, at least a nice map like this, and then the discussion something little and then you add the population that are likely to be affected all right so guys this brings us to the end of the lesson and i want to thank you guys for watching anyway i dedicate this video to level 300 gis student and level 400 gis student in the geography department of university of education Vinivar. still bless and then good night and thank you for watching but you should remember <laughs> practice makes a man perfect so you should keep practicing and then you keep learning i think that's the best way for me because after watching this video i bet you should be able to create this map all right good night